Hello, in this little clip I'm just going to have a brief review on uh, p-values because I know that uh, some of you have asked and, um, uh, to, to get a little review of that. So what is a p-value? We always have, the key is we have a test statistic. Okay, so that could be, uh, for example, an LM test. If you have an auxiliary regression, that could be calculated by n times r squared. And we know that under the null hypothesis, we know that the test statistic is distributed according to some distribution. Now, in this particular case, we know it is chi-square distributed with some decrease of freedom, say k. Okay. So what that delivers us, this information delivers us either a, from here, we either get a critical value to which we compare our calculated test statistic or we get a p-value. And we saw bo both of these techniques can be used to determine whether a null hypothesis should be rejected or not. So the question is now, how do we get that p-value? That so firstly, we're going to draw the distribution. Okay, so here for this example, we have a chi-square distribution we know a chi-square distribution lives in the, on the positive line. Uh, let me just draw some distribution here. Okay, so this could be a chi-square distribution. Say we have a chi-square distribution with four degrees of freedom. You know that degrees of freedom depends on what we test, how many restrictions we are testing. So what is a p-value? Let's say we get a particular test statistic. Okay, so let's say our test statistic is uh, 5.7. So the question is, is that uh, significant or not? Is that, does that lead us to reject the null hypothesis or not? So let us see. If we were to use a critical value, what would we do? We would find at say alpha equals five percent what would we do is we would find that value in the distribution that cuts off five percent of the distribution on the right hand side and then we would compare that our calculate test statistics say 5.7 against that critical value and only if our test statistic is to the right of the critical value, we would reject the null hypothesis. So what about the p-value now? What is the p-value? Well, the p-value, you actually need the value of your calculated test statistic to calculate it. And graphically, the p-value is the area in the distribution that in the extreme that is cut off by the test statistic for a chi-square test that's the area to the right. If you have a t-test that may be the area in both tails or perhaps if you have a left uh, sided test it may be the area in a left tail relative to the test statistic but here we have a chi-squared we are interested in the area to the right. So and then our decision rule will be the decision rule using the t stat is going to be reject h naught if p well is smaller than alpha and that is exactly equivalent to saying the test statistic would be the to the right of the critical value okay so that's why both deliver the same result but now the question is what is the p value here now in matlab we can find it precisely the command we use is chi-square tdf, a uh, cdf. We uh, type in our test statistic. Our uh, test statistic here, well, I just assumed it was 5.7, and we need the decrease of freedom, and we get a value. The value which we get is 0 0.773. Okay, 0 0.773. Now, what value is that? That is the value okay, to the left 
of 5.7 okay so that value here in this particular case was 0 0.773 Okay, that was, let me just confirm, and that was it, ah, three sevens, okay, all point, uh, da, da, da. let me just run this out, so, seven, three. So, now, how did we get the red area? Well, we know that the red area, the p-value, is 1 minus the green value because the area underneath the entire distribution is 1. Okay, so the red value will be 0 0.22 uh, two, two, is that right? Yeah, 227. Two, okay. That is going to be our p-value. So this area here is going to be 0 0.2227. And that means in our decision rule we would not reject the null hypothesis because p-value is not smaller than alpha, which we here set to 5%. So to make a decision of the, the uh, test statistic, you still need a critical, uh, a significance level in alpha. Just because you can calculate the p-value doesn't uh, doesn't mean you don't need to set a significance level. So lastly, what I want to show you is how would you get a p-value if you don't have MATLAB, for instance, in an exam, okay? Something which surely you're interested in. So what I have here is a piece of a table okay so this is our uh, chi-square distribution this is a um, piece of the table which you will get in the exam so what you now want to find is the uh, p-value so let me just point out that we have four degrees of freedom that means the part of the table we are interested in is the part which is on that line okay everything else we are not interested in now so what do you what do the values mean here let me just let me pick out uh, a certain value for instance here that value uh, use a different color now um, let me use this one that value here, oh point, nah, let me use this one, 1.064. Okay, so if you go to here, 1.064, we need to read that in conjunction with this value up here. This tells us that to the left of 1.064, we have an area of 0.1. So what we now need to find is we need to find this value, our test statistic, in the table. Okay, where in the table is it? Well, we have to be extremely lucky to find it exactly. What we know here is that it is between these two values. So if the test statistic was 3.357, what would be Okay, so that's somewhere that's somewhere here, and 7.79 is somewhere here. So if our test statistic was 3.357, then the area to the left of this would be 0 0.5. That means the p-value, that's the area to the right, would also be 0 0.5. But we know that our p-value is smaller than this. So what do we know about our p-value at this stage? we know that our p-value is smaller than 0.5 okay because at that point here the p-value would be 0.5 but our test statistic is to the right that means the area to the right is smaller than 0.5 now the next value 7.79 that's this value here what would the p-value be here the p-value would be 0.1 
because the area to the left of this point would be 0 0.9, that means to the right it would be 0 0.1, that would be the p-value. However, our test statistic is smaller than that, that means the area to the right of it is larger. So we know that our p-value is larger than 0 0.1. So this is all you can establish from the table. Okay, that's the only thing you can say from the table that the p-value is smaller than 0 0.5 and larger than 0 0.1. But that, you know, if you were to be asked for that in the exam, that's all we want to know. Okay, that's the end of the p-value revision.